the links on this header are affected by a problem. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of link components all coming from Tanstack React Router, but they all have these repeated props. And even if I try to wrap them or replace them with a custom component from my UI, then I should be super careful because I do not want to lose this level of type safety. Today we're gonna see how you can integrate Tanstack Router's navigation into any kind of custom component. It might be handmade by you, or it could be something coming from your favorite UI library, be it ShadCN, Mantine, Material, and literally any possible component. This is chapter um, 9 of the Tanstack Router tutorial. I'm Leonardo, subscribe to the channel, and let's begin. Let's begin by creating our custom link component, and this is just a fancy component, but you can really use all components you want. And just to make sure you can distinguish between this one and the old one I had in the header, I'm gonna also add the italic class here. I can now take my component and replace it here on a couple of links. For example, these three links are gonna use my new fancy link component. Now the do property is probably gonna be replaced by href, as this is basically just a simple a tag. And also here you can see that active props is no longer um, a property here in this component, so I can get rid of it. And also I want to remove the class name prop as that was the goal after all, right? I wanted a simple component that just take the destination and I no longer need to repeat all the shared properties. If I go in the browser, you see that now three of them are in italic. If I click the Pokemon link, it does a full page reload, but then you see that the navigation is kind of still working. But as I mentioned, now this is a simple A tag and this, well, the type safety is completely lost. So what can we do? It's now time to integrate our custom link component with Tansac Router. And to do so, the function making the magic is this create link. I can import it from Tansac Router. And with that, I got a Tansac link component that is pretty much my fancy link component but if I go back here and I replace my fancy link component with the new created Tanstack link component, I can now replace again href with two. And as you can see, the type safety is now back. And here in the browser, you see it no longer does a full page reload, but I lost the property that was setting the text green when the link was active. Let's restore it. First of all, you can notice that now that I wrap my fancy link component into create link, all the properties I have here are basically a merge between my fancy link component props and all the properties from the link of Tanstack Router. For example, I also have the search property. But now we were talking about active props. Sure, I can set active props here, but that wasn't the goal, right? We wanted active props to be exactly the same for all links in my application. And to do that, we need one more extra layer. With that, I can finally create my custom link and its properties are coming from link component that is a type coming from Tanstack Router. With that, I am once again wrapping my Tanstack link component that is wrapping my fancy link component, which means I create a new component that has the properties of both, which also lets me add properties here that I can share between the instances. For example, if I now set that I want my Tanstang link component to always have these active props, and I go back on my header, I can again replace all my links with a new custom link. And on the browser, you can already see that the active props is now working again. And it's not only that. For example, here you see that this link, it's not just a string, but it's a function taking is active so that I can display some custom UI. And here I can simply replace the link component with my new custom link. And this is still working. You see the tilde character appearing every time I go on this route. But now going back to our link, you might want your custom component to have some extra properties. For example, I may want this link to have an underline property that is an optional Boolean, so that when the link is active, it also has to be underlined. All I have to do is really just adding this new prop into my interface. And since it is part of the fancy link component, if I go down here, you're gonna see that underline, it is now an existing property of my Tanstack link component. And as I mentioned, I want this to be true only when the link is active. And as you might expect, I'm also finding it here. So I can set that underline is true. So basically the active props property of our link component can also support our own custom properties. So now I can simply add here that if I've got the props.underline active, I want to, well, underline, and with this super simple change, if I go again in the browser, you see that the underline property is now properly being activated and all this magic is happening here under the hood. 
There's really nothing you need to expose from here because everything is handled in your custom link component. But with this example, I used a component that I created. What if I want to use, as mentioned in the intro, something from UI or ShadCN? Well, it's super easy. Let me show you. Here, I'm going to replace my fancy link component with button. And this button is basically the button coming from ShadCN. Now, for the demo, I can also get rid of this code. I'm no longer going to need it. And now that I'm using this button inside create link on the browser, you're going to see that, well, now I got shots yet buttons into the links. But the result isn't that great. So something you realistically might want to do is similarly to the previous example, you should probably wrap your library component into your own component, pass that one to create link. And with that, the result is slightly better, but there's still something we can do here. In particular, we define here that we want our button to be the outline variant, but the same thing we did here for underline, I can now specify variant. And as you can see, this is now picking up the properties of button prop coming from ShotCN. And let's say that active links should have the default button and I no longer need to change the style. We now have our custom button coming from our UI library, serving as link. And all of that is basically possible thanks to this simple create link function. I hope you enjoyed chapter nine of the Tanstack router tutorial. If you're interested, I'm also working on a Tanstack start tutorial. So you might want to subscribe to the channel so that you're not gonna miss the videos when they're gonna be out. With that said, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.